everyone, welcome to Mama from Scratch. My name is Emily, if you are new. Today I wanted to share with you how I'm gonna be decorating my mantle for spring. I absolutely love the way it has turned out, and for me, the mantle in our house is actually a very big focal point. You see it right when you walk through the doors and everything, and so I love changing up the decor on it for each season. And since spring is here, I'm gonna be transitioning it from the winter Valentine's Day decor into the spring decor, and maybe adding a few touches of Easter to it in a couple weeks or so, since Easter isn't until April this year. So I hope that you enjoy the style of video and know that this is just kind of like an outline, give you a couple different ideas for ways that you can decorate for spring because let me tell you, this idea is definitely a little bit outside the box. It is different, but that's the thing I like about decorating is that you can try anything and you can change it up however much you want to and you guys know that I love doing that. And I don't want you to feel like either that you have to go out and buy new things. Feel free to shop your house. It is completely free. Take things from different rooms and whatnot and use it there and that is exactly what I have done and I love it. I love the way it has turned out so I just wanted to share with you a little bit of creativity that you can add to your home and everything. So hopefully you will enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, I hope you hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell to become part of our family here because I really do love to inspire and motivate you. Alrighty, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started decorating. The pots turned out pretty good. I have a couple small roses, a little bit of um, like hydrangeas that I'll be using, some white dahlias, and these are the um, spray roses that I got from A Floral last year that I'm using. And then I'm also going to be using the um, cathedral wall art that I made. I have a tutorial on that. You guys can go make one yourselves. It cost me 10 bucks. And then I have, um, again, some more of these hydrangeas. I've had these for years. I got these originally at Michael's. I want to say like like eight years ago or so, a long time ago. Oh yes, again, these are all from a floral last year. And then I have these candlesticks that I thrifted. I'll be using again because I had those up there. This bunny is from Target Dollar Section for three bucks. And then I got these on clearance for like 60 cents. And then this one was a dollar. And I have these like little sprays. I don't know where these are from. These were given to me. So I just um, made them a little bit smaller and I thought I'd put them in the houses. And then I have um, obviously some more of these hydrangeas here. And then these are the um, ivies from Ikea that I really, really like. Um, they work good and I think I'm actually going to pluck them out, which is kind of cool. You can just pull out the greenery out of these to make it a little bit easier. I have those and then I have some tulips, of course. These are like the real touch ones, they're gorgeous. Um, and so I just pulled some of my roses from this area here and that's what I'll be using um, to decorate. So let's in the entryway, kind of playing with the idea and then I redid the entryway uh, a couple weeks ago and so I moved all of that stuff and I thought it would look really pretty here and I was kind of playing with the idea of having the roses kind of coming out, kind of like the way the roses go um, up different um, trellises and stuff. And I thought that was really pretty. And so I was talking with my mom. She's like, well, I think you should add maybe some ivy to it and, you know, make it. And I was like, ooh, like a secret garden type of look. And so I actually have these two, um, uh, what is it called, keys that I got from Home Goods years ago. Um, I love them and I thought, well, that might be kind of cool up on the brick, but I'm not sure if it's going to tie into the, I mean, it ties into the theme, but I think it might be too much on the wall. First, how to do this, and then we'll see if the keys tie into it and whatnot. So what I started with first was I actually added my um, stems. Now you can cut these if you wanted to, but I like to keep my stems as long as possible unless they do um, pluck out of the original stem. But this stem is really thorny and I love the look of it, so I wanted to add that to it. And all I did was kind of intertwine the um, stems in between the cathedral wall art. So you can kind of see like I just, and it's okay with that kind of showing through because this will partially be covered. So it kind of basically folds one way, so I'm just going to make it so where it folds upward. And then there's a couple long stems on it. And so I'm just going to kind of weave this through the way I want it to look anyways. Kind of get that in there the best way. And then I did, I do have little bits of double-sided tape. You can use whatever you like, um, but I find that it works best on the back of the vines um, because I have nothing, it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't want to hold very well to it. So I'm just going to weave this kind of in and out here.
The great thing about the ivy is that you can hide a lot of the stems um, that you are using if you don't want to cut them. So I really like doing that. And I like to weave my flowers in and out. I think that that works really well because um, it looks a little bit more natural that way. Adding these um, sprigs just adds a lot more spring look to it and I really like that. So I think there needs to be something behind the bunny. This is the final look. I think it's beautiful. I love adding these um, kind of hydrangea-ish type of flowers. I'm not exactly sure what they are, so you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I didn't have these before. I'll show you a picture. And I think they just add so much to the whole look and everything. I like the little bit of red, and, or red, the green and the white in there and intermixing it. I think it's beautiful. So a mixture of the roses, the vines, the dahlias, and a little bit of the hydrangeas and the tulips, I think just completes the whole look. So, I don't know, I might add a few more bunnies here on the sides um, uh, as we get closer to Easter time, but for now, I think I'm just going to leave it with the one, because it just represents a little hint of Easter, and I really, really like it. So, 